welcome back to my channel. So we are here again in the pink extra bedroom. Um, and I have a really exciting video for you guys today. I did one of these videos last year around Christmas time and people really liked it. And a lot of people messaged me saying like, thank you so much for making a video like this. Like I always want to make my house really cute, but I don't want to spend a bunch of money and I don't want it to look like I got it all from the dollar store because I don't know, but the dollar store has some good stuff sometimes. Um, so I decided to come to you guys with another home decor haul, like, um, on a budget. And so this stuff is kind of just like stuff that I found either on sale or it was just like a really good deal anyway. And it's kind of stuff that like, I definitely like things that are on the like shinier, blingier side. Um, so that's kind of like, this is all my taste. So if it's not your taste, I'm sorry. Um, you can kind of just like get ideas from it. But a lot of this stuff is like that, but it's also like not so expensive because I'm the kind of person that I like to redo my house a lot, so I'm not trying to spend a bunch of money because I don't know how long it's going to last, and also I just like don't have it. So I'm going to get started on this, and I'm going to tell you guys like where I got things and if they were on sale, how much they were, kind of everything like that so you guys can get a good idea and you can kind of figure out where you might want to go get stuff for your home. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so the first place I'm going to show you guys stuff from is Pier 1. Um, I think Pier 1 is so Bennett, come here. I think Pier 1 is so underrated because for so long my mom was always like, oh my gosh, let's go to Pier 1, let's go to Pier 1. Can you see Bennett? Um, and I did not want to go. I did not like it. But recently I've been going and I've been finding so much cute stuff. So um, I got a bunch of stuff there and so much stuff is always on sale. And I'm not sure if it's just because it's around like, it's like Labor Day tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure when I'm putting this up. It'll probably be way later. But I bought this stuff around Labor Day. I'm not sure if that's why. But I know they have a lot of good sales going on a lot of the time. So if you're ever looking for cute home stuff that you don't want to pay 10 tons for, but you want your house to look really nice. Pier 1 is like an awesome choice. Um, so I'm going to get started and show you guys what I got. Get down a minute. Um, okay, so the first stuff I got um, is actually like drinkware. And I don't really like know why I decided I needed these. But they were so cute. And so the first thing I got was this like wine glass. I got two of each. Bennett, hey. He makes a lot of noise. Um, I got two of each of these and they just have like these little rhinestones all around um, like the stem and so these were $12.95 a piece. I got two and but they were buy one get one half off. So it's not bad especially for the fact that they're like really fancy and pretty and like if you were to get these at like Pottery Barn you'd be paying like an arm and a leg. So these are really cute and in addition to that I also got the champagne flute version and these were also $12.95 so I got two of these too. And they're really cute. They just have like the same kind of thing going on. Um, and I just thought these were really cute to kind of put out. I have a little bar area in my home that I decorate. And so I think that these would just make it look really fancy and like spruced up without really doing that much. So I got two of these also. Okay, so the next thing I got from Pier 1 was actually this candle holder. And it's like the same thing as like the same design as the cups. It has the rhinestones and everything. And this was only $20. Like, I'm sorry, but like this it's like glass like it's really nice it's like heavy it's not just like light crappy um is obviously worth I feel like way more than $20 so this in and of itself despite it was on sale but was such a good deal because again like if you were to get this somewhere else you'd be paying so much more for it and it's so nice so I got that and then I got a little candle to put in there and this one was $10 um I got that so it just kind of like sits in there Wow, so cute. And it'd be really cute like on a table or if you have like, I think they're called console tables. It's like the little table um, that's like when you come in the door and it's open and like, I mean, sometimes people put their TV on it and put all their um, boxes and stuff, but I just have mine in my entryway. So that'd be really cute from there. And I really liked that. Okay, so the next place I went is Home Goods, And I don't know about you guys. I don't know if y'all shop at Home Goods or if I'm the only one that's like irrationally obsessed with Home Goods, but I love home goods and I feel like I find so many good deals on things that like should be way more expensive than they are. And so I went there and I went a little crazy, but I'm going to get started and show you guys first. I got these candle holders, which I love. I literally love these so much. I've been looking for something like this for so long and I found some on Amazon that were like 30 bucks a piece and I was like, absolutely not. Um, so these are really cute. Who made an India? Look at that. that neat? Um, these were $8. A piece literally for these like they're so nice they're heavy again they're not just like crappy um and you just like put a little candle in there and you can put it just wherever I think I'll probably put these on like next to where my TV is um so they're just like different heights and you put your candles on there and they look so nice and literally if you were to get these anywhere else they'd be so much more expensive and probably not even as good of quality so they're just kind of like this distressed silver 
clear glass look. So I thought those were really cute. They go along with my style really well. I don't really know what my style um, is, but this is it. So I got those. And the next thing I got, I don't know, I don't know what I need this for. Um, I don't know. Don't have an answer for you. Um, but the next thing I got was this box and it's so pretty. Like, please look at that. You can tell by like how I'm holding it that it's super heavy. Like it's so heavy and it's so well made. Um, it's just this cute little box and I figured I could put like perfumes or jewelry or makeup or something in here. I just thought it was really, really pretty and like so cool for the price. So it was, this was $30, which is a little on the pricier side for home goods. But like, if you guys could feel this, you would understand like, this is really good quality. Um, and it's huge. Like, I really like that. And it has just kind of like little glass gems kind of all the way around it. And so I thought that was really cute to put out somewhere and just put stuff in it to like have the color kind of like shining through. I thought that'd be really cute. Okay. So the next thing is kind of really similar to the last thing. And this is also the most expensive thing I got. And again, it was so much it was worth so much more than what I paid for it. So this was $40, but it's literally this tray. Oh, you can see my setup, hey. Um, it's this tray and it's like a Lazy Susan. Please look at this. Like, if I drop this and break it, I swear. Um, but it has all these little like glass, like, I don't know what those are called, but all the way around it. And it's literally like a million pounds and it's so heavy and so pretty. And I feel like this would be really cool for like a centerpiece in your table or something like that and you kind of do a lot of different things with this like put candles and stuff on here or anything like that and it would be really pretty and 40 bucks is not bad for this like the quality of this is easily worth like 70 dollars uh, honestly um so that'd be really cool and it's also just like not simple but it's not a color or anything like that so if you change up your house you don't have to like change this because it's just glass so i get a lot of stuff like that either that's like glass or white or like really neutral colors that way if I want to switch stuff around in my house I don't have to like put this in storage until I go back to that um it can just like kind of work all year with depending on like what you're doing kind of with everything so I thought that was really cool you're welcome for seeing my light um so that was that and then the last thing I got which may not pertain to everyone but pertains to me um dog people if you catch my drift um it sucks having to have your dog food just like out and in like a giant bag. So I have a big dog, obviously. And so he eats a lot of food. So I have like a 50 pound bag of dog food just sitting in my like living, not my living room, my like dining room area. And it's not attractive. So I got this, which is so cute. And it's just like this giant canister with this cute little lid that's like wood and it has a little bone on top. Hold on, let me tell you how much this was. This was $24. Are you kidding me? Like, it, this is, like, nice. And so you put, like, your dog food in here. Um, this was made in India, too. Wow, that's cool. Home goods. Look at you. Um, so it's literally huge. I don't really know how much this would fit in it necessarily, but this would last me, like, probably a month or more of dog food before I'd have to, ref like, refill it. And so you can just, like, put your dog food in here and then put, like, a scoop. So I thought that was really cool and, like, a really good deal. Um for the fact that like I've said a thousand times before, you could probably buy this somewhere else for like triple the price and get the exact same thing. So home goods, you're slaying it. I love you so much. Um, anyway, that was what I had to share with you guys. Um, I hope that that was helpful for you. Basically, um, home goods and Pier One and places like Marshalls and Ross and stuff like that have such amazing deals on such awesome stuff. And like, I've gotten such cute things there. Like I get a bunch of my like fake flowers and vases there and everything. And those are so pretty and like so easy, obviously, because you don't have to like water them um, for like $7, like so cheap. So if you're ever trying to like redo your house on a budget and you want it to look really nice, but you don't want to spend a million dollars, like literally I'm telling you Marshall's Ross, Home Goods, like Pier One are amazing for that kind of stuff because they have so much stuff in like every single kind of style, every single color, every single everything. And it can be a little overwhelming, but if you like really hunt for it and you like kind of carve out some time to go in there and spend some time in there, you will find such awesome stuff and such great deals. So that's my TED talk. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this gave you some ideas and I hope that it helps you. Um, if you guys redecorate your houses and you like use any of my tips, like tag me in your pictures and let me know because I want to see. Um, but anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Please don't forget to like, like and comment and subscribe and I will see y'all soon.